So it's the final 24 hours before your medical exam. You're probably stressed, you're probably tired, you're probably exhausted, you just want this thing to be over. But how can you make the 24 hours as efficient as possible? How can you get the most out of it so you're ready to go and dominate the exam the next day? I'll talk about five key things that we can talk about, four really, but one additional thing that can really set you up for that exam tomorrow, whether it's a role play based exam, whether it's an MCQ based exam, whether it's an OSCE type exam, it doesn't matter. It's about getting your mindset in the right place and making those 24 hours as efficient as you can. So you walk into that exam thinking, I've done everything possible to get ready for this particular exam. I'm gonna talk about four stroke, five key things. Take three things easy, three things difficult, calibrate expectations, connecting with others. I'll talk a little bit about visualization at the end as well. I'm Dr. Aman, I'm a GP medical educator, and my job is to make sure you get through your medical exams in the way that you best can and fulfill your potential. Let's talk about the first thing, three things easy. What do I mean by this? Think about three things that you have never struggled with in terms of preparation. You understand these things inside out, you almost do them without thinking about them, and re-go through those three things. Whether it's three examinations you're very good at, whether it's three guidelines that you know inside out, whether it's three conditions that you know, whether it's three um, concepts that you understand in terms of a role play situation, for example, just go through three things that you know you're comfortable with, you, things that you know that you don't need to worry about if it comes up the next day. Why do this? Because it gets your brain in the right state of mind. It tells you and reminds you that actually there's so many things that I'm very good at. There's so many things that I do know. There's so many things that I am comfortable with. And often what we do is we focus on the negative things. We think, oh my God, there's so much to do. There's so much I don't know. Make your brain think about three things that you find really easy. It just gives you that trick that, you know what, I'm, I'm good. I'm ready. I've actually done more than I probably thought I had. And I'm a bit better prepared than I actually thought I was. So make sure you go through three things that you think are really easy to give your, boon, your brain a bit of a boost. Then also think about three things difficult, three things that you always struggle with. Maybe it's three things that you put off, three things that you haven't looked at because you're so scared about going into that concept because you know you find it difficult. Whether it's three guidelines that you haven't broken down, whether it's three sets of management plans that you don't know, whether it's three types of patient um, in terms of a case that you haven't reviewed um, because you just find it too difficult, you find the concept hard, whether it's HRT, whether it's women's health, whether it's contraception, whether it's orthopedics, whether it's cardiology, whether it's um, examining a particular joint, doesn't matter, just find three things that you've always found difficult and go and work your way through them. Why do this? Because again, it gives your brain such a boost that three things that I thought that were actually really difficult, things that I thought that I wasn't gonna even look at because I thought I was too scared of them, I've actually gone through them, I've spent time to work them out, and I do actually understand these three things. It gives you such a confidence booster that three things that you'd almost let go because you were worried about them or you've tried them before and you haven't quite understood it, you now do understand it. It's gonna give you such a boost walking into that exam thinking I actually know these three things that I always found difficult. So along with the three easy things, make sure you go through three difficult things. And if you have to find, you know, speak to people to get these things clarified, do that, do whatever it takes, but understand three things that you've always found difficult. It just sets you up in the right mindset. Calibrate expectations. This is really, really important. You've got to tell yourself the day before the exam that I am going to mess up a little bit. I am going to come across questions that I don't know the answer to. I am going to come across cases and scenarios and role plays that I'm going to struggle. I'm going to go blank. I'm going to, I'm not going to know what to say sometimes. It depends on what exam you're doing, but Make sure you pick up and you tell yourself that I'm, I don't know everything and I don't have to know everything. This exam is not expecting me to get 100%. I can't know everything. It's about calibrating your expectations. If you expect and you tell yourself that I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna find a few things difficult, when it happens the next day, it doesn't hit you so hard. If you calibrate your expectations the wrong way the day before, if you start thinking things like, oh, I hope I've covered everything, I hope everything that comes up tomorrow is something that I'm good at or things that I've reviewed or things that I know, I hope I get everything that I've practiced once or twice before, then you're setting the wrong calibration because then when something comes up tomorrow that you don't know or that you haven't come across before, it start, you start to panic and think, oh, I knew it was just me, it's just my luck, I knew I was gonna get stuff that I didn't know. Calibrate your expectation, tell yourself that I'm allowed to make mistakes, and this exam is not expecting excellence, like 100%. I've got a buffer of things that I'm allowed to make little mistakes on. It just sets your mindset better. It relaxes you a bit more. The stress levels drop because you're almost allowing yourself to make errors and allowing yourself to have gaps in knowledge or you know little bits that you've never really understood. It's fine. You're allowed to do that because it doesn't mean you're going to fail that exam tomorrow. So calibrating your expectations, keep on telling yourself the day before, I'm allowed to make little mistakes, I'm going to get things wrong, I'm going to struggle in certain parts. But you know what, it's fine. Lots of other people are going to struggle at the same thing that I struggle with, or people are going to struggle with other things that I find really easy. 
calibrate your expectations. Expectations often make us more stressed than we need to be. Number four, connect with others. This is really important. On the final 24 hours, you probably are feeling quite down, fatigued, all those kind of things we talked about, stressed. Find someone else and connect with them because I guarantee you they're feeling exactly the same as you. Whether they're stressed, they're tired, they're fatigued, they're fed up, they want this to finish just like you. You're not the only person, but you've got to show your brain that you're not the only person. Otherwise, it can feel quite demoralizing when you're sitting there thinking, oh my God, I've got this exam tomorrow, I'm struggling. Talk to someone who's also preparing for the exam. Just pick up a phone or you know, WhatsApp someone, message someone. Just, just do some, connect with someone somehow. Even if you have to go into social media groups and just you know, connect to people and say, how are people feeling tomorrow? Just make sure you connect with someone who's also preparing for that exam so that you don't feel like you're the only one. And it gives you a bit of a boost to show that look, we're all in this together, everyone is struggling, and we've just got to stick with it together and do this one more day of preparation. But connecting is so powerful. The last thing you want to do is stay on your own for those 24 hours and just sit in your own room and work and stress and worry. Okay, it may work for some people, but most of us are social beings. We need to make sure that we're connecting with other people. And if you don't know anyone else preparing for an exam, if you can't connect with anyone particularly for that exam, just talk to someone about how you're feeling about the exam. Just get it all out so it's not stuck in your head. Again, just opening up can make a big difference in terms of how you feel before you go into that exam the next day. And the final thing I'm to talk about is visualization. This is a really powerful technique that a lot of people use in all forms of life, whether it's in business, whether it's in sport, whether it's in politics. You know, people who go high up in the field often visualize things before they even happen. So if you're this kind of person, if you think this might work for you, then visualize yourself from the morning the day before. So visualize yourself getting up, you know, having your breakfast, getting ready, doing your last minute preparations, uh, walking to that exam center, visualize yourself going into that room and dominating that exam. Visualize yourself getting all the answers right. Visualize yourself streaming through role plays without any problem. Visualize yourself picking up diagnoses. Visualize yourself picking up cues. Visualize yourself smiling your way through consultations if it's that type of exam. Visualize yourself walking out of exam feeling confident, happy that things have gone the way that you wanted to do it. Again, almost trick your brain so that when you go the next day, you've almost been through that stress already. You've almost watched yourself go through the process and now it's just about doing it a second time. Visualizing is so important. There's a reason why so many people visualize um, before they go into big things in life because it's almost getting your brain prepped to say, that, look, I can do it. Like it is gonna happen the way I feel it's gonna happen and that can be a very powerful trigger for your brain to get things like expectations in place and feel a lot more prepared for the exam the next day. Now it is stressful when you're a day before your exam. I remember doing this many times myself. It's a, it's a horrible feeling. And you can, you can use that 24 hours for you or you can let that 24 hours work against you. And some of these things can make a big difference in how you get your mindset right for that exam the next day. And we all know that when your mindset's right, when you feel good about something, when you feel in a good space mentally, you're gonna perform that a little bit better. If, if you're in a negative space, if you're already expecting the worst, if you're already too stressed, you're gonna work a little bit less efficiently than when you um, are in a different headspace. So it's really important to get these last 24 hours right. And of course, you're gonna cram things in the last 24 hours. Of course, you're gonna try and you know, go over as much material as you can. And of course, you're gonna to have to do basic things the day before, like get your equipment ready and make sure everything's prepared the night before. And you know, don't leave anything to be stressed about in the morning in terms of the logistics of getting to the center or whatever it might be. Get those things all prepared, of course, but get your mindset and get your mind prepared at the same time because that's probably gonna help you much more than everything else that you're gonna do in that last 24 hours. Hope this helps. A lot more videos on my channel about how to get your mindset right, how to get ready for medical exams right from the beginning right through to now the last day. Um, any further queries or any questions that you need or any other videos that you want created, please do let me know. Um, give me a shout. I wanna make videos for you to get you um, your preparation as well uh, prepared as you can. Otherwise, Good luck for tomorrow. If you are taking an exam tomorrow, I'm sure you're going to be absolutely great. Can pass, will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora.